I hope you allow your life to be more than you ever thought it could be. I hope you press back on the limiting thoughts that have made you cling so tightly to the worlds you've already outgrown. I hope you will listen to the little calling in your heart that knows what's really true, even if your mind doesn't yet understand how it might be possible. I hope you will consider that maybe there's more available to you than you've ever known to ask for. I hope you will let yourself be expanded to see that there are others just like you taking big leaps in the direction you always hope to go, but have just been waiting on the courage. I hope you will take nothing for granted, no lesson, no person, no place. I hope you will see that everything was a teacher. Even the most unlikely of experiences was in some way there to guide you to your path. I hope you will have faith in the fact that everything that's meant for you will find you, remain with you, or return to you. It is only a matter of when. I hope you will realize that when you ask for a bigger experience, you'll first be handed the lessons that will grow you into the type of person who would have that life you want. I hope you'll begin to see the purpose in what seemed meaningless. I hope you never lose faith that your happy ending is still there, still waiting. I hope you will remember that there is no desire that can be within us without an equal amount of potential to make it into reality. I hope you will let yourself dream. I hope you will let yourself consider more than you assumed you'd be able to have, not always in scale, but in depth and beauty and truth. I hope you will know that no experience will be wasted. I hope you know it will all eventually add up. Most of all, I hope you will realize that the journey was the becoming, not the arriving. I hope you'll give yourself the chance to enjoy the journey while you're still on it. Brianna Weiss Hi everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. I don't really know the right way to start talking about this, but I just want to say thank you because this news, this video, this announcement um, comes with a lot of bittersweet feelings, but mostly gratitude because I have decided to take a break from teaching to pursue a creative career. And this has been weighing on me for the longest time because, as you know, I love being a teacher and I love, you know, trying different things in teaching and learning and, you know, continuing that career path. But something in me has always really wanted to try something new because in 2015, 2016, I fell into this lovely hobby and passion of creating, you know, journal spreads and loving stationery and illustration and design and I've always done it as a hobby but there's always been something in the back of my head that always asked you know what would life be like if I you know pursued this full time and it's always been you know a scary thing to think about because you know, there's security in, you know, the job that I have and I'm pretty established in my teaching career. And it feels, you know, scary that after five years of being back from Korea and, you know, teaching here that I am pursuing and trying something new. But this, you know, long-winded intro was just a way to tell you that I am going to be taking a little break from teaching to pursue this creative path and one more big shocker is that I will be moving out of Vancouver as well so this is you know my way of saying goodbye to this chapter of my life in Vancouver and saying hello to a new path and obviously I'll keep you all updated but this whole journey this whole thing would have not been possible without you because 
you allowed me to you know pursue my passions and i still can't believe that people you know watch these videos and follow my little journaling life and you know hearing and seeing some tips and tricks here and there but honestly just listening to me ramble about life and um you know creating journal spreads that document that life and i'm so incredibly grateful that you know job's journal has become something so much bigger than me um it's now you know a patreon community the youtube community twitch everything instagram uh, i'm still so shocked that you know i'm here today because of all your support we even launched products we've made washi tapes i i still can't believe that you know when i started this it was just me in korea journaling on my little desk and posting these videos not really not really hoping or realizing that it would turn into something that it is today um i am so incredibly grateful and indebted to all of you because you've really helped me realize that i can have oh my gosh i'm gonna cry um i can make new dreams and you know and and realize them because you know i think part of me was so set on being a teacher my whole life and um you know that's a pretty um solid and great choice for a career path and although i know you know work is not life i've always wanted to see if you know this job's journal thing can turn into something bigger and it has and has given me this opportunity to work for a stationary company that i love that i it's honestly a little bit of a dream job and it's it's finally here and i couldn't have done it without you i know i've been beating around the bush but you'll probably hear more information about you know where i end up working and where i end up living but just know that um i'm still going to be creating videos and i'm still going to be documenting my life um in this new chapter i'm incredibly incredibly scared and every night i've been feeling like i've been making the wrong choices recently because i love my family i love my friends here in vancouver and change is scary and i know that that's necessary for growth um you know change is just the only constant as we all say but when it's actually you know arriving um you know at your doorstep basically um sometimes it's actually scary to make that leap of faith and i'm still trying to reassure myself that i've made the right decision but i know that future job would be happy that i took this risk because you know life is about living and trying new things and although it is scary it is something that i feel like i need to do to become a different and newer version of myself and hopefully a better version of myself in some ways i feel like i've been so scared to change my life because it's comfortable and it's happy um but i want to grow and become a newer version of myself a better version of myself and i hope i can continue to show that side to you whether that's through journaling or through you know diy's or anything that i end up doing creatively with stationery i hope to share that with you but again this is just a quick video maybe a long video because i tend to ramble but a quick video to notify you of these changes but also to thank you because again none of this would have been possible without you and i'm forever grateful that <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna cry again i'm forever grateful that you allowed me to express myself and you've supported me through so much it, it really does sound like a small thing to some people but for me you guys have really really helped me uh pursue my passions and to turn this wonderful hobby into something that you know is life-changing i don't think you realize how amazing your impact has been on me and i am forever grateful for job's journal for the eggies the job's journal community for 
you know, helping me realize um, and bring this dream into a reality. And I'm, I'm hopeful, you know, when I decide to dream new dreams, you'll be there, right there with me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, but I'm really thankful, and I really love you all. So, cheers to this new chapter um, of life, and I hope you will continue to follow along on this journey. Again, some uploads might be a little sporadic here and there while I try to get my um bearings straight when you know moving it's a lot of uh moving part moving parts to uh but i know that i will still be here at some point documenting my journey and i know you will be there um supporting and watching as always i leave you with this final quote by brianna weist to each of us a great life calls a life where we are not pushed by our fears but inspired by our visions. A life where we embrace what it is we have to offer the world, no matter how small or simple that may be. A life where we slowly realize that our experience is a blank canvas upon which our subconscious minds paint pieces of our soul. A life where we see everything as an opportunity to witness ourselves more clearly, to know the ways in which we need to heal to grow, to become. To each of us, a deep life calls. A life where we no longer defined by our spaces in which we lack, the things we cannot control, the people we have chosen not to walk the path with us. A life where we choose ourselves. A life where we act from our inner locus of control, where we realize that the limits of our lives are the limits of our perceptions. A life where we begin to understand that more is available to us than we'd ever think to consider. But the first and most fundamental step is to expand our view to see all the human beings that are already doing everything we think is impossible. To each of us, a beautiful life calls. A life where we realize that the joy was always in the journey. That there are no destinations, no endpoints, no finalities. There is only one experience, and then the next. There is only the constant of unfolding of what was already within. There is only the realization that everything we'd ever love has stemmed from our own participation and creation, and we become increasingly more capable of recreating that in bigger and better ways. No matter where we go, no matter who we're with. A life where we come to understand that it was never about how we'd experience the world, but how we'd allow the world to experience us. Brianna Weist